In this video, I'm going to introduce to you conditional probability. And to do that, I'm going to show you uh, this through an example. So let's say we've got the numbers 1 to 12, and we've got event A is the, the number is odd, and event B is the number is less than 7. We're going to draw a Venn diagram showing this information. So here's A, and here's B. Right, okay, so um, numbers that are odd and less than 7. So we've got 1, 3, and 5. So 1, 3, and 5 are in the middle. Now the remaining numbers that are odd are 7, 9, and 11. And the remaining numbers that are less than 7 are 2, 4, and 6. And what we've got left is 8, 10, and 12 that don't fit in. So 8, 10, and 12 go on the outside. Okay? Now, let's say I wanted to know what the probability of A was, the probability of event A. So that's nice and straightforward. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got 6 out of possible 12. Okay? So 6 out of 12, 1 half, uh, is the prob probability of picking a number that is odd. Okay? The probability of B, okay, um, well, number less than 7, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, once again, 6 out of 12, 1 half. Okay. Now, let's say um, we were looking at the probability of A intersection B. Okay? So the intersection is this middle part. So the probability of them both being odd and less than 7 is 3 out of 12. Okay, so 1 quarter. Let's now think about this. This is where the conditional probability is coming in. Conditional probability um, is based around knowing something before so knowing something already, um, and how that changes the probability. So it's written like this. What this means is the probability, what is the probability of selecting a number that is odd, given that I already know that the number is less than 7. So this means given that I already know B. A given that B has already happened, that I already know B. So, if you look at it this way on the, on the diagram, given that I already know it is within B, what is the probability of selecting an A that is within B? Well, that is the intersection. It's 3 out of a possible 6. Okay, so you look at just B and select the ones that are A's, the 3 out of the 6. Now, the calculation for that is, well, that was the intersection, A intersection B, divided by, or out of, B. The probability of B. So this is the formula for conditional probability. The probability of A, given that B has already happened, is the probability of the intersection of B divided by the probability of B. So if you know the intersection 3 over 12, you can divide that by the probability of B, 6 over 12, and get left with 3 over 6, which is what we identified before. So this is how we use conditional probability. Now, let's see it um, in the next video as a diagram, uh, not a diagram, rather a table. 
um, it's quite easy to then show you how this works in practice rather than using uh, the formula. Although it works and is perfectly fine, um, I want to show you kind of how this works on a table, so selecting the regions that we need.